Hi, I'm Jennifer Fox with the Canadian Trucking Alliance. As a result of the Canada-US Beyond the Border Declaration and subsequent action plan, many commitments relevant to the trucking industry have been initiated. One of these commitments is the establishment of a pilot to facilitate the movement of cargo and conveyances across the land border. Currently underway is the pre-inspection pilot at Fort Erie into Buffalo, New York. The pre-inspection pilot will see changes to the way that trucks are handled. Ontario Trucking Association has been working with the Peace Bridge Authority and local customs authorities to put together the following video to help educate drivers on what to expect as they approach the border at Fort Erie. As you approach the Peace Bridge from the QEW, this is where the Peace Bridge Authority personnel will be located and they will stop you and they will ask you a few questions. This won't take more than a few seconds. They're going to ask you whether or not your cross-border fees have been paid. If your fees have not been paid and you are paying cash to cross the border, you will not be selected to participate in the pre-inspection pilot and you will proceed over the bridge as you normally would. If your fees have been paid, if you have a working transponder, then you'll have the option of going through the pre-inspection pilot. You do not have to go through the pre-inspection pilot. You can choose to continue to cross the border the way that you always have. As you make the turn from the first pre-inspection booth, you will notice two mobile radiation scanners. You do not need to stop. U.S. Customs and Border Protection will be able to scan for radiation in the trailer as you move slowly. As you move through those, you will see a stop sign prior to reaching the booths. It's important that you make a, a full stop. Do not wait for U.S. Customs and Border Protection to signal to you which booth to move to. Once you see an open lane, you're asked to please progress to the open lane. As you approach the booth, you come to a full stop and engage with the U.S. Customs and Border Protection officer in the booth. Be prepared to have all the regular documents you would have when you cross the border. Have your ID, have your e-manifest, have your cover sheet, if your trailer is empty, we encourage you, as we always have, to have submitted an e-manifest on file prior to your arrival. That expedites the border crossing process for everybody. Once you're processed by U.S. Customs and Border Protection, you will be handed a pink piece of paper. This piece of paper is important. Keep it handy. You're going to use this when you cross the bridge to signal to the Peace Bridge Authority personnel that you were selected for pre-inspection. If U.S. Customs and Border Protection were able to pick up a radia radiation signal from your trailer or the goods that you're hauling, you will be asked to pull over for a Canada Border Services Agency adjudication process. The next step is you're going to merge with the existing traffic on the bridge. Proceed across the bridge. You will see Peace Bridge Authority staff at the base of the bridge there. This is the time when you take that pink piece of paper that was handed to you from U.S. Customs and Border Protection and wave it to them. The staff person is then going to signal to you that you need to move over into the pre-inspection booth. If you look over the booths, you will see signage. There is a pink sign that indicates pre-inspected trucks. That is your lane. Enter that lane slowly and cautiously as you would and look for a red light. When that red light turns to green, that means that you are free to proceed on your way. But be cautioned, there is a crosswalk there with U.S. Customs and Border Protection staff walking back and forth. If you just blast on through, you risk hurting someone. So please be careful. If that light does not turn green, that means that there's a problem and you will be sent to secondary. If you would like more information on the Beyond the Border Declaration or Action Plan, go to www.ontruck.org or feel free to contact Ontario Trucking Association or the Canadian Trucking Alliance. Thank you.